Music Sun's new series of monthly videos to feature our musicians of color. I'm Paul Austin, president of Vixom and a horn player in the Grand Rapids Symphony. And we're very pleased and honored to have Ixom musician Judy Dines as our guest today. Judy has been a member of the Houston Symphony flute section since 1992. I first met Judy at the Ixom conference in Washington DC in 2016. And I've enjoyed following her activities ever since, including her serving as committee chair for the Houston Symphony's contract negotiations her performing and speaking appearances at various conventions and conferences, and even viewing Houston Symphony's video of Judy at Home to showcase her collection of flutes. Welcome, Judy. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much. <laughs> really glad to be talking to you today. And I'm sort of disappointed I don't see the, the lineup of flutes on your kitchen counter like for the Houston Symphony video. <laughs> They're taking a, a well-deserved break right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> not a couple of horns with an arm's reach if we came in case we didn't do that, so luckily we're not going to go there. <laughs> but let's go there to our five questions for you today. We're calling this five questions for flute player Judy Dines. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great, excellent. So question one. So Judy, do you recall the first time that you ever heard an orchestra? And if so, tell us about it. Yeah, I do. So when I was growing up, my father loved the orchestra. He was a lifelong subscriber to the National Symphony in Washington. So uh, he used to always go to concerts. But the first time I actually remember hearing it was a, a at a youth orchestra concert program uh, where, and I remember, you know, I think it's really funny because I play the flute, but what I really remember was hearing the strings tune up. And, you know, you hear all those kind of fifths and fourths. And that, that sound still really resonated in, in my brain. And that's the first time I remember thinking, wow, what is this, you know, kind of thing. So that's the first thing I remember. You know what's I'm so good? I'm surprised I'm not a violinist. I don't know why, you know, <laughs> that didn't happen, but. <laughs> in the spare time, maybe take up the violin. Hey, what I like about your answer though, Judy, is because the lead in to our interview is an orchestra tuning up. So it's going to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> our one point, Judy, excellent. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. <laughs> I know you mentioned the violin, but I mean, of all the instruments in the orchestra, what led you or how did you end up with a flute? Well, you know, I you know, was just talking about my dad about how much he loved the orchestra. He wanted all of his children to play something. And um, he himself was an amateur cellist. And, uh, but he had a flute just sort of, sort of lying around the house that he liked to play every once in a while. And I said, well, you know, I kind of like the sound of that. I'll try that, you know? Uh, so that's sort of how I started on the flute and it stuck, you know? <laughs> it's amazing how many of us are drawn to that a sound. To, to yeah. our, so that's really interesting, good. So you've had the experience of going to youth symphony concerts and national symphony concerts, but was there an actual aha moment when you knew that you wanted to become a professional musician? I'd say that definitely came later. Uh, you know, I, I did start pretty young. I was six years old when I started the flute. Um, and played uh, in this youth orchestra program for many, many years. And then later on, I was part of a, a, a um, fellowship program with the National Symphony. And that was actually when I started taking private lessons. So I didn't actually start taking private lessons until I was 16. Oh. And then, um, and then of course I got much better because private lessons, right? So, and that, that was the point where I thought, oh, you know what? you know, maybe I could do this. I, I said, I should at least try this. This is what made me more what I was thinking. I should at least try this to see how this goes, you know, and see how far I can get with this flute, basically. So it started kind of late high school when I had this thought. And look where you've gone. I mean, yeah. we're just going to talk about our next question is really the fact that you've been performing as a member of the Houston Symphony for 30 years. Now that's hundreds of concerts, maybe even thousands at this point. And is there a special concert you will always remember? Uh, my first concert, of course, you know, everybody remembers, I would imagine their first concert. Mine in particular, I remember because uh, it's it, it had the mold out on it, which starts out with a second flute solo, you know, so it's just kind of thrown right into the fire <laughs> on my first concert, but it went really well. So <laughs> that's great. Um, and other concerts I always remember kind of tend to be around um, 
when you have either a music director going out or one coming in or both really, there always seems to be an extra energy in the air for, for all these kind of concerts. And so I always remember, and they always tend to be, you know, Mahler, you know, something with huge orchestration. You know, we actually here in Houston, we just had uh, an outgoing and an incoming concert uh, that both had this kind of really great energy. So I always remember those concerts as well because they're just really fun to be a part of. And I've heard you talk about your Moldau experience for your first concert at another convention a few years ago. That's interesting. That no, that'll stick with you. And of course, Mahler, you have a few things to do in Mahler Symphony. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so our last question, if today's Judy Dines could give a piece of advice to herself during her student days, what would that be? Um, my thought was that to not be too hard on myself in the audition process. Uh, I actually won this job on my first audition, oddly enough. Uh, and so, <laughs> so uh, then afterwards, I actually haven't really won an audition since, not really, you know, or not won a job since, I guess. And um, so, you know, I won this audition and then I thought, great, you know, I, I'll just bop around from orchestra to orchestra, blah, blah, blah. Of course, that did not happen. And then I started kind of doubting myself and I thought, you know, well, maybe I'm not really very good at all or, you know, maybe something else is going, you know, I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. And I just said, you know, you know what, just give yourself a little grace. It's okay. You know, you were, uh, you were lucky to win the job, but you're also good. So don't think about that. And conversely, you're not winning a job doesn't mean that you're not good. So I, I, this is what I, I want to tell my for myself. <laughs> that's great advice. And I really didn't realize that was your first audition. And you somebody, that's really tremendous organization. I'm really glad that you, your first job was since, and, and your, your job right now is in such a restored organization and great. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. I, I'm very lucky, as I said, but yes. <laughs> Those are the five questions, but I want to open up just for a second, just for final thoughts. Doesn't count as a question. But just so you feel free to share anything that maybe hasn't been mentioned that you'd like for our followers to know. Oh, gee, um, I didn't think about that really, but um, uh, I don't know. I think that um, I, you had mentioned earlier that we first met at the Exam in 2016. And I think Exam is, that, that was really fun actually, going to that convention meeting all these people from all these different orchestras, just seeing the work that's being done everywhere. Um, I think the Ixam is doing really great, important work, and, and I am happy to encourage it to move forward as, you know, in the future. So that's maybe my last thought. <laughs> oh, last thought. Are you kidding? I'm president and ask for better than that. <laughs> oh, and with that, we wrap up our conversation with Ixam musician Judy Dines. Judy, Thank you so much for sitting down today with Ixam so we can get to know you a little better. Thank you for asking me. I'm really honored. Thank you. Bye.